I'm Loda from Sweden and I've been a professional esports player for 10 years. When I started playing, people really, really didn't respect me and they really thought I was a kid. You just have to show that you're confident in a way. I made a quite adult decision to, to go back and play. Being a Dota 1 player, I kind of had a big advantage uh, compared to the other players. But when I played Han, I saw that International was announced and I was a bit angry that I wasn't uh, playing Dota uh, at the time. I was very, very motivated straight away to, uh, to go back and show that I'm one of those players that are the best in the world when it comes to this game. That just made me very driven to, to come back and, and show people that I still have what it takes to, to be the best. I think there was a lot of combinations and, and reasons to why we did so well in, in 2013. I think we just found a, a nice playstyle. And then that kind of grew into being more of split push. I don't think that we started off being split pushing as much, but I think it's just a result of what we felt was the strongest in the, in the meta. Of course, that year we were very, very dominant, but it's more about the fact that we understand the meta and sure, people can study you, but since we are actually controlling the meta, we, we have already found those counters against ourselves, so we are one step ahead. It was probably the best way to play Dota that year. We created Alliance together, we created a brand in a way together, and, and uh, Alliance obviously stands for a lot of things. Uh, we wanted to be not just a team with players, we wanted to be more like a family. That feels like the core is, is the players, and, and uh, just play in a team. If you play super well, People will notice you at some point, I really believe that. But don't forget that people are usually the ones that will help you get somewhere. You know, if you want to be the best one-on-one -on -one mid player in the world, don't go play pub for the rest of your life. You go play one-on-one -on -one versus another guy who wants to be the best mid player in the world as well. You play a hundred games. Like they talk about in, in other professions, what is that they say you need to invest like 10,000 hours to be a professional in something. So I think the time has to be invested for sure, for sure, there's, there's no doubt about it. There's Just like anything else, you want to be the best in the world. The more you win, the easier it feels to win. I enjoy being, being uh, famous and popular uh, to some extent. I think when eSports started growing super, super much just a few years ago, it was money that made people watch, partly, but now We've seen that money, it's around, it's in CSGO, it's in League, it's in Dora. It's not the money that sells the game as much. I think it's important to have tournaments that are different because then it means something. What does it mean to win? WESG, yeah, you're the best tea, the best country in the world. It's not for the money only, it's for the prestige to be able to say that. I'm Psyxa, professional Hassan player representing Berlin, Germany. WESG had all the qualifiers open to everyone. 